fill your room, this is going to have some freaky bedrooms. everything is closed and just one air conditioner is going brrrr all the time. This is one thing, the reverberations around you are freaking this body completely, all the time brrrr. Particularly when I'm outside the country, particularly in United States, even in Europe it's a little better. In United States, all the time something is buzzing, endlessly. When I come here, it's like still, which makes you alive. Everything is buzzing, you are like <laughs> Most people are not conscious of it, but it's happening to them. The very fact that they're sleeping eight hours a day is just that, that they are not living in their natural habitat. They are trying to protect themselves by sleeping. So, to protect yourself from disease, to protect yourself from mental illnesses, to protect yourself from all kinds of imbalances, you sleep eight, ten hours a day. This is half your life, you're dead. Death is always a good fix, but that's not the fix we are looking for. We are looking for a life fix, not an end fix. If you end something, it is fixed, isn't it? Hmm? Fixed or no? Fixed, but not the way we want <laughs> We want to be here, alive and be fully fixed. So if this has to happen, well, you can't leave your city and go and live in the jungle. You can't leave the atmospheres and go away, at least you must equip yourself so that those things don't have too much impact on you. It'll anyway have impact, but how much is the question? How much impact? At least within your home, surround yourself with some plants. If there is no space, fill your room. This is going to have some freaky bedrooms. Open up half the roof. Oh, but there's another floor above, Sadhguru <laughs> Okay, open up the damn walls so that some sunlight comes into you. Yes, you can. I know you may look freaky. Even I will think you're freaky, but you can bring some plant life into place where you sleep. You… when you walk, you must always be conscious of the life other than human life. Most people are not even conscious of the human beings, so I'm reminding you, you must be conscious of everything that is alive. A tree, a plant, a blade of grass, a grasshopper hopping, and the people that you don't like are passing by all kinds of things. You must be alive to everything. Something as simple as being alive to everything around you, indiscriminately. The element of fire in the Bhuta Shuddhi system of yoga and our ability to stand up as a strong life are very related. If we want to find out whether you are alive or dead, we will check whether it's warm or cold, that means whether the fire is on or gone. Everything that you call as life on this planet is only because of the fire of the sun. A fireball is burning there. Only because of that life has happened. All the other ingredients may be there, it's like cooking. Everything may be there, no fire, no cooking. So life has cooked itself up mainly because of the fire of the sun, the basic energy in the world is just that. So using fire as a way of keeping ourselves well is very much a part of the yogic system. As you can take a water shower, you can also take a fire wash, which we are doing as Klesha Nashana Kriya, it's producing incredible results for people. To have a little fire around you, I am advising every one of you, Keep a lamp in your bedroom, in a safe distance from you where you sleep and let it burn every night, it'll make a world of difference for you. So otherwise, you must have a powerfully consecrated spaces which is like fire burning all the time. Either this or that, one of the things must be done in every home 
always a lamp used to be burning, always in an Indian home. Now unfortunately, because people are seeing it as a... Uh, an act of a particular religion, others don't want light. Otherwise, others don't want to wire light a lamp because if you light a lamp, you may get converted. This is just stupid. <coughs> well, I think some religion may claim water, then don't have shower, don't wash your hands. <laughs> because it is part of some religion, before they pray, they wash their hands. So you don't wash your hands because if you do this, you will get converted to that religion. This is just stupid. I am advising every one of you, keep a lamp in your bedroom in a safe distance from you where you sleep and let it burn every night. It'll make a world of difference for you.